bit of news from the other side of the Atlantic. AFC Richmond announced the hiring of their new manager, American football coach Ted Lasso. You're an American who's now in charge of a football club, despite possessing very little knowledge of the game. Oh! I know that AFC Richmond is going to give you everything they got, win or lose. Or tie. Right, y'all do ties here. Yeah, you see that? He must be from England, yeah? Wales. Is that another country? Yes and no. How many countries are in this country? Four. Four. Like it or not, Richmond are changing the way we do things. And from now on, that way is the lasso way. Hey, look, this car's got an invisible steering wheel. <laughs> Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look Features. Today, I'm with Brett Goldstein and Phil Dunster, and we are talking their show, Ted Lasso. This is such a fun show. You guys have so many nominations from SAG to Golden Globes to Writers Guild. So I wanted to tell you both congratulations. Brett, I wanted to start with you. What did you think of your storyline with Roy this season? I love the story of Roy, uh, if I'm allowed to say that, because I'm involved in it. But, you know, I, I think it's a really interesting journey he goes on and, and there's a real sort of tragedy to him, this man who, uh, who has been a footballer since he was three and his knees don't work as well as they should. And, he has no plan beyond football so what happens if he if his football career has to end uh, and I, I really like the romantic journey that he goes on which I won't spoil uh, but it's this whole thing of starting with a character who is a complete shut down shell who very slowly lets in a little bit of light over 10 episodes. Phil what did you think of your storyline with Jamie this season? I mean, he's not the most likable guy, but he's still a great character. <laughs> you don't think? You don't think? No. Um, uh, I I loved it also, uh, and to be a part of it and to watch it. I mean, you know, I, I feel embarrassed to say, but I'm also sort of a massive fan of the show as well. <laughs> um, but I I think that I think that how it was to play Jamie felt, you know. Uh, without getting too sort of uh, indulgent about it, was a real gift as an actor because he is someone who, you know, on the surface, he is one thing and that he really tells everybody who he is. And I think that, you know, perhaps even more so with those, with people who project that, there's just so much hurt and pain underneath it. Um, and I think being able to, just for myself, and, you know, maybe as the show goes along, you can sort of discover that a little bit with him. Um, but for me to like, you know, have a go at that was <clears throat> was great, but also to do it like the, it's a cliche. And I know on, on a lot of these things, people are like, "Oh, it was the best thing ever, and we're a family." Well, we were. <laughs> we actually were. No, it it was a very, very, very special thing to be on. And you know, I love to. I'm so proud of everybody that's that's a part of it. Oi, mate, there's you. I believe it is. Wicked. You coaching football. You are a legend for doing something so stupid. I mean, it's mental. They're gonna murder you. I'm a big Jason Sudeikis fan, but I was not familiar with Ted Lasso. So I was wondering if you two were. Yeah, uh, because the original Ted Lasso sketches uh, were, he was coaching Tottenham Hotspur, which is my team. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I knew, I knew he was our manager. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he already had um, like a bit of a cult following in over here because I think one of the things that it did so well, even in even in those sketches, was that there was a humility to the ignorance, and it wasn't like oh, isn't it funny that he is he doesn't know what he's talking about. There was like this person who he knew he didn't know what he was talking about, but he wanted to learn about it, and it was really really funny. And also, you know, you, you got to see, um, you know, a bunch of football players like Gareth Bale playing um, in, in those little snippets. Um, so, yeah, no, he's, he had a little cult following before any of this, before I knew about uh, the show, yeah. The show is Ted Lasso. You can catch season one on Apple TV Plus now. I always figured that tea was just going to taste like hot brown water. And you know what? I was right. Yeah, it's horrible. No, thank you. Welcome to England. 